Hey you guys, welcome back and I hope you guys are doing great. So today's video is sort of a different concept and even I don't know exactly where the direction of this video is going but I just thought of sharing my oldest makeup that I have in my collection. So the reason why I thought of doing this was because I feel like amongst all the makeup that we see today, a lot of us are not really honest about regularly throwing down maybe a mascara after every three months. Same goes for products with shelf life. We don't necessarily throw them away. It's almost like if it looks good to me, it's good. So I just sort of share my oldest makeup. I'm sorry in advance if any one of you feel disgusting while watching this video. Some of these products are very old you guys. If you cannot tolerate that, leave this video. So yes, I warned you, you're going into this knowing what the video is gonna be. You'll probably be surprised by how old they are and I'm here just to justify all of that. So yeah, let's get started. The first thing that I want to talk about was the product that kind of inspired this video. So if you guys know, I refilmed my review for the Wet n Wild Color Icon Coal Eyeliners and I did not have any sort of demo section for that video. The reason for that was I tried to film the demo but the product was clearly expired. It did not glide the same way. It did not feel the same way. It was such a weird feeling that I never felt with that product before. I threw that product away but I remember buying that product in 2017 and 2017 to a lot of us is like oh it's it's not that bad. 2017 was still four years ago. The shelf life on that is I think nine or twelve months. I don't really remember now but it's definitely not four years. But that's one of the ways to tell if your product has gone bad is to see if the formula has changed, if the smell has changed. Even if it works fine, throw it away. I know makeup products are really expensive. Even a 300 rupees lipstick is expensive. Even I think about buying that lipstick twice. But at the end your organs are a lot more expensive than a 300 rupees lipstick or a 200 rupees eyeliner. So yes, that's the product that actually inspired this video let's get into something more interesting this highlighter now you're probably thinking oh i don't really remember the fit me highlighter i've never talked about it on my channel the reason being this is something i actually repressed so this used to be a four pan highlighter that i ended up scraping because i wanted to have fun with my products and then when i finished the compact powder in this product i kind of pressed it into it and it works fine not gonna lie it's a pretty good highlighter and that is something that you guys see me wear very often I use this one more than my Swiss Beauty one just because this is so old. So this originally was the Makeup Academy. I know some of you probably have not heard the brand but it used to be available on Jabong. Some of you guys probably don't know what that is either but Jabong used to be a website just like Mintra. It used to specialize in fashion I believe but there were products like Makeup Revolution, Makeup Academy. It was available on Jabong and the story behind this Makeup Academy the name sounds so foreign to me but that brand still exists but when I looked at the image it kind of looked like a contour shade to me the darkest shade looked like a contour to me if not a contour then a bronzer and I grew up on YouTube in an era where contouring and bronzing was the deal and I had a lot of weight on at that time so anything that made my face look slimmer was welcomed in my life I convinced my mom because at that time I was pretty 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 damn young and this was probably in 2012, 2011. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's bad. And the fact that I still have it, it's bad. This was around a time when I don't think Jabong even delivered to the area that I lived in. So I had to order it to a friend's place, to my mom's friend's place and then she got it from there to me. The moment I opened it I was disappointed because it was highlighter and highlighter was big then but I've never been a highlighter person. I just have never wiped the whole highlighting face. It was on the recommendation of Shreya Jane's. I was disappointed because I did not expect it to be a highlighter. It wasn't her fault but I never let that product go because it worked really well. But this product also carries a lot of, not nostalgia but this was the very first time I uh, ordered a product on someone's recommendation from YouTube. It was very unique to me. The whole thing of YouTube was very unique to me. Actually, I don't think this product is 2012. It might be 2014, somewhere around that. So yes, that is probably the oldest makeup that I have in my collection. Would I recommend keeping something this long? If it's not going bad, if it's a powder product, they last for years and years and years. You'd be surprised by how long your powder products last. I'm also one of those people who don't throw things away without using it up entirely. I have a feeling I should throw it, but at the same time, it's fine. And I don't use it when I'm going out either. So I use it only while filming, which is for one or two hours maximum. Maybe I'll throw it away after this. I think it's high time that I just change things up in my collection. So for <laughs> safety reasons, I feel like it's okay if I let it go. But just so you know, powder products do last for 10 years sometimes. 
it's okay if you keep them but all of this is not to say that i'm gonna take responsibility for you guys and you guys as organs be careful if the shelf life says nine then don't come at me saying you said that i can keep it for 10 years so i did and i got an infection not my responsibility if you are more concerned about the expiry then just throw it away whenever it says it should be so yeah another product is this is again not that old but still i feel like four to five years is also pretty old i grew up a lot in the past four to five years so this lipstick has been with me since i think 2017 again i remember i got this uh, this is in the color coraline i don't even know if they make this color anymore but it was one of those offers on nika so wet and wild i think they are recently launched in india and they had an offer where if you shopped for 899 rupees you were getting a lipstick free and at that time that offer was very tempting i ordered it and then i got a color it's thankfully a red a red that i can wear even though it's a little too bright for me i wish i could use this that often but i just don't gravitate towards it at this point i feel like i should just get rid of this if they don't make this color anymore there is no point in keeping this and talking about this because you guys cannot get this anyway so maybe this will be something that i discard too this was my very first purchase from nika for wet and wild products and i got this during that and now i do not fall into that trap of free lipsticks usually it's a way for a brand to get rid of their extra stock or the shade that does not sell but yes this lipstick has been with me in for a while uh, i think to 2017 16 somewhere around that says so that was the third thing that i have a very strong distinct memory of next coming on to something that i started my video with so this has been featured in the past three videos of mine this is the final video and after this it's going into the bin so the reason why i wanted to talk about this is because it's a mascara usually ideally you would throw a mascara out every three months six months is still good enough but it's best to just give it off after six months but i doubt people do that because mascara is a product that first of all i wish they came in mini so that you could actually discard the product without having so much left like right now i'm throwing this away but this mascara has still so much left in it i can totally use this for another year if this was safe to use but right now when i smell it it smells you know how it smells like an eye drop when you first open it but now if you smell it it kind of smells more like it's gone bad <laughs> i cannot explain the smell but you can significantly tell that the smell has changed and that's it for you to throw your mascara out i know six months seems like a very short period it is maybe try to extend it to eight months and try sniffing it often so you know that if the smell has changed it needs to go away so yes that's the reason this will be going next is something that even looking at it makes me angry a lot of people know this a lot of people don't know this this is the color bar blush in the color 010 everything's rosy this is from i think 2013 so it's been <laughs> It's been a long time it's been eight years and again a powder product has never had an issue the formula hasn't changed the smell hasn't changed so that's why i still have it and as you guys can see i still have hit pan on it so it's making me feel better this was my first time buying a blush by going on a counter so i went to a color bar counter and they got me this blush i told them i don't want something shimmery i was even more tan back then and she said that i should be using something more illuminating because it will make my skin look a little better rather than a matte blush which will make me feel flat uh, I should not have taken her advice because the glitter and the shimmer in this is so annoying I think Colorbar has even reformulated these blushes which should tell you it's it's been a long 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 time so yeah I will probably throw this away too once I get a proper blush. I'm done with pink blushes I mentioned pink blushes in every other video of mine I know you guys are tired I am too don't worry I'm giving this up soon it's going to another palette that i wanted to show to you guys so this is the wet and wild rose in the air palette it looks slightly different because i have hit pan on one shade and i have scraped out two shades so this monsoon was very humid for the area that i live in and for the first time ever i saw fungus in one of these shades that scared me so i just scraped it all off and i waited for a month or two for all of these colors to see if any of them have any fungus growing they did not thankfully and i got this before my birthday that's how i convinced my mom to buy it for me still feel like this is one of the best available but 
it's been a while and the reason why i'm keeping this is solely because i love these two shades for an everyday basis so just putting it in my crease and this color is such a good bronzer color for me i'm keeping it for reference purposes so when i want to buy a bronzer i can find a similar tone it's over here if you see i have applied it lightly so that's the reason i still have this palette but i think i'll be getting rid of this i've already hit pan on one of these shades which i'm very 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 proud of i feel like this was the first palette that i had some neutrals in and could do neutral as well as colorful looks with so yes i waited for a long time to see if any of these have issues with fungus and stuff they did not but i still feel like it's safe to just throw it away instead next is something you are not even ready for i think this was 2012 again a jabong purchase this is the makeup revolution palette i've used this palette in a few of my videos actually so some of you might know this i cannot even show the palette because it used to be a proper palette like it used to be this but then I depotted and kept the colors that I wanted from two of these palettes and now I only have them. But some of these colors are so 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 pretty. So if you can see this color, it's such a pretty purple and shifts pink in certain lights and purple in certain lights. I have kept this shade mainly for reference. I thought I would use this palette if I just kept the shades that I like. But because they are not in a proper palette, I just never reach for it. And even if I want a very special color, I just feel like I do not have time for it. So I just move on with my life. Right now I feel like I'm just gonna keep this shade because it's too pretty and I want a shade very similar to this so I can just give this off. It's too pretty to not have in my collection so I wanna keep this. Everything else I think I want two more eyeshadows amongst all the ones that I have kept and everything else is going. But these palettes costed me I think 2500 rupees for both of them and during that time my mom refused to buy these because why would you buy your daughter who is in her 8th grade a palette that's worth 2500 rupees it does not make sense but i really wanted this so i convinced her for a week straight and then ordered it when it was a little bit on sale i would not pay that price point for these eyeshadows right now at this point in my life but these palettes have served me so well because these are the only palettes that i had it was almost like I had no choice but to wear these palettes on every occasion that I had to wear a colorful eyeshadow. Are those good? No. But the shimmers in that were some of the more unique ones, some of the more interesting ones. So I did enjoy them. But right now, I think I'm just throwing it away because it's been a long time and I don't reach for it. If I don't reach for it, it doesn't make sense for me to keep it in my collection and just occupy space for no reason. But yes, this palette is not even in a condition that I should be showing to you guys. And this technically got replaced by the Tamiya palette and the Soph palette. I'm covered with colorful eyeshadows. I don't really need this. There are some tones that I wish I had in better formulas in other palettes, but I can get that later. It's not something that I miss. If I missed it, I would be reaching for it. If I don't reach for it, that means I have exhausted my happiness out of it, so... Yeah, but yes, I had fun while I had all of these products. I enjoyed some of them. Some of them I did not get as much use out of them as much as I should have. But that's fine. I've learned a lot owning these things and knowing what things I like and what things I do not like. So today was exposing myself and how old of makeup I keep in my collection. I'm letting it go. And that completes this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Let me know what your oldest makeup product is and do you throw your products out regularly? If you guys do, then maybe I'll try my best to throw them away too. Let me know if there is any other concept that you want me to film videos on. I would love to do that. And that is it. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.